Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to set up custom buttons so you can reuse the same button in different parts of your app. So, custom buttons are good for when you want to have a central theme in your app but you don't want to always have to write out how to how that button should look and each individual um, each individual preference of that button. So what we're going to do is first we're going to create a new button class so we'll click new file click touch class make sure it's a UI button and then I'll just name this custom button so in this button class what we're going to need to do is give it some functions to initialize the button so the first thing we're going to have to add is a override in it that just means initialize and just put frame CG rec. You don't actually need to know what this stuff means, you just need to know like how what it does and everything. So this is just the thing that initializes the button and the frame is the frame. And then we need another one which is called the required in it. And we'll let the coder we'll call this a decoder. And we'll just leave that there and then just type super dot in it and then our coder is a decoder. So there are the two functions we need. Now we don't actually need to know what these two mean, but basically these are just initializing the the button so we can actually use it without it crashing. And now we're going to actually do the setup. So we're gonna need the override func layout sub views. Now what this does is basically so when a view is first loaded it's not loaded into the f into the device's actual dimensions so this just waits for the d device's dimensions to like loading with auto correct auto layout and then and then we can start doing our customizations super dot layouts of views and now let's create another function this is the last one and this is going to be where we put all of our initialization code so our actual customizing the button where we customize the color and the shadow and things like that and then just put this function in the layout sub views so in this function we're going to be writing all our customization code and but so now that we've set up this custom buttons custom button class Let's go to our main storyboard and add in two buttons so we can actually see how it will affect these two buttons. So I'll just add a button and then another button. And let me just give these two a few constraints. So I'll give it horizontally and center. And we'll give it, um, we'll give this one minus 200. And vertically and we'll give this one 200 okay and now since we made that class earlier our custom button cell let's just set our buttons to that class so we can actually set what it is later so this button is custom button and this button is custom button so you'll see unless we actually want to do something when the button's clicked to actually customize the button, we don't need to do anything in the view in the view controller. So we're going to be customize our buttons in this. So there's actually quite a lot of customization you can do. So we can have different things like we can have self dot layer, and then we can do things like border width, um, background color. We can even add shadows. So we'll just add a corner radius. So it looks quite nice. Um, I'll just set this to 20 and then we'll add a background color let's set our background color to maybe blue because that's like what looks quite nice but you can set it to whatever you want um, so UI color dot blue and I think it needs to be converted to CD color yep okay so just remember to put dot CD color at the end because I don't think I think you need to do that to make it um, able to understand um, let's add a shadow so let's add self dot shadow 
shadow color um, of self dot layer dot shadow color. Uh, we'll just set this to uh, we'll just set it to UI color, and then we'll just make it zero zero zero. We'll give it an alpha of uh, zero point two five, so that's going to be a sort of gray, and then dot CG color, and then we'll do um, self dot layer dot shadow offset this is just going to be the offset so if we didn't do this it will just be behind it which wouldn't really do anything then cg size width 0 and we want it to be a bit underneath so we'll set it height 1.3 and that's about it let's just give it let's just give it a shadow offset as well so it's I mean shadow radius so it's actually a curve um, I'll just set it to zero because, yeah, and opacity. Oh, how could I forget the opacity? Dot shadow opacity equals one. Okay, so this should be this should be working quite well. And oh, what's this? Uh. CG size. Um, oh, oops. This was meant to be shadow radius. Okay, so let's also add a self dot clips the bound. Basically, that's like anything which goes outside it just gets clipped off. And let's see how this looks so far. So I'm just going to run this on the iPhone 12 mini. So you'll see we haven't actually done anything on our view controller or the storyboard. All we've done is written code in this class. And that's what's actually going to be used later on. As you get more and more into iOS programming, people tend to write things more in code. So you can see that does not look good. But you get the point, right? You can just start customizing it in this. Uh, let's, start, let's try and make this look a bit better. So I'll give it a corner radius of just, uh, let's just give it 5 actually, that would probably be a better idea. And I'll give this a different colour, um, let me set this to dot, I'll just make it green, or red, let's make it red, dot CG colour. Okay, um, should we get rid of a shadow? We should probably get rid of a shadow because that does not look good and let's give it let's just give it a border self dot border dot layer dot border equals our border width and self dot layer dot border color and let's just make it black okay now let's see how this looks I feel like this is going to look a bit better but I don't know. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I guess we could make that a bit bigger, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. This actually, the reason it's so squished together is because these are actually meant to be a bit bigger. So I'll just give this a higher width. Let's make this 55 and 40. Yeah. And let me do the same for this one too. 55, 40. Okay, so we've done all the customization, but let's say what happens if you wanna if you wanna like change that text or something. So if you want to change this text, what you can do is add an IB inspect inspectable inspectable. Oh, I can't I can't say it. IB ins inspectable. Yeah. Okay. So what to do that? Basically, this is gonna let you change individual properties for each button in the actual storyboard. So all you have to do is have your for and then we'll just make this title text. And let's make it a string. Uh, put it put it as a um, a optional so we don't get any uh, crashes. Did set and then so when it's set self dot set title because this is a button title text and for dot normal and self dot set title color 
We just want this to be white because blue on red just doesn't look right for dot normal. Okay, so now that we've done that, if we just build this quickly, then go to our main dot storyboard, see if I click on this button, go to properties, you can set the title text. So I'll just set this to like button one and it won't actually change here, but once we run it, you'll see it changes. And let me change this one to button two. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yep, that looks okay. I'm just going to reduce the font size because otherwise you can't see it. But yeah, that's the basic idea of it. So now that now that you learn how to set up custom buttons, it's basically the same as any other button. All you have to do now is just go into, if you want to control what happens when you click it, you just have to control drag and then add a uh, control drag and then add a action. So yeah. But we're not going to do that today. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.